welcome back to my channel today i'm going to make a very very exciting breakfast it's going to be a french toast but not just regular french toast high protein low calorie french toast and this recipe was actually inspired by me watching a lot of youtube fitness youtube videos and i saw this on i think will tennyson's uh, channel he was making a greg to set um, anabolic french toast so it's not exactly his recipe however it's inspired by that recipe so right now since i discovered that recipe i am able to eat that french toast pretty much every weekend without feeling like i'm not eating enough protein or it's not filling me enough and i'm using my bread hala bread which i believe is the best bread for French toast that it is out there. But that's my opinion. Take it as it or leave it. So here I'm gonna not only show you the French toast recipe, I'm also gonna show you show you how to make little sauces, fruit uh, mixtures or any addings to that French toast to make it a little bit more exciting. So let's grab the ingredients and let's start preparing our French toast. So let's slice challah bread. I am only going to use six slices for this recipe, which is two servings, and that will be four ounces of bread for each serving. Each slice is between one and mm, one and a half ounce. I actually measured them, so I know how many calories I will be consuming. A bit OCD, I know, don't judge. In a large baking dish, I am going to empty the whole carton uh, of egg whites some vanilla, cinnamon, and monk fruit sweetener. Mix it all very well. I am going to soak the bread, coating it in the egg whites very well, both sides. And I am going to leave them for a few minutes so the bread can soak up the liquid and it will. Hala bread is one of the best options for this. Let's just make some space for the last one. I preheated the pan and lowered the heat to minimum. I will not be using any butter or oil. And I was actually surprised to notice that it didn't, I didn't really need it. The toast comes out great without it and it does not stick to the pan. I have a little bit of egg whites left, so I'm going to add it to the toast. It takes about three to five minutes per side if you really using low heat and definitely make sure you use low heat so you don't burn them before they're ready. Now they're almost ready, so let's start on the toppings. Strawberries for the strawberry sauce. I am using frozen strawberries, but fresh can be used too. That's exactly what I had. Let's cut them up in smaller pieces and transfer to the pot, to uh, like a small pot, and add the sweetener. You can of course use sugar if you don't care about the calories. And cook it on a high heat until the sauce thickens, and that's it. Serve it hot. Now, chocolate peanut butter sauce. I have here PB2, powdered peanut butter, lower calorie and higher protein option, vanilla caramel, zero calorie syrup, and cocoa powder. 
mix it well and add sugar-free pancake syrup. If you cannot handle that sugar-free stuff, you're gonna have to add way more calories to it. This came out so good. It tastes and looks like chocolate sauce and it's only 50 calories for the whole thing and it has protein, not like any other chocolate sauce that you know. Let's put it all together. Yep, this is actually Greek yogurt, if you are wondering. It all makes sense at the end, trust me. I was skeptical at the beginning, I usually eat whipped cream, but somehow this actually works well together. Check it out. Let's dig in. It took me about a minute to clean the plate. It was amazing. Try it and tell me what you think. So leave a comment below. Make sure you check out these two videos on the screen and I will see you on the next one. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.